Yo, what is up, you two? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 of X-Men Battles. Today, we have the Como Toxtricity Serena team once again. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. Always recommend checking them out for some great battles. You can always check out my uh, second YouTube channel and my Twitch channel for more awesome content. You can check out the rental code if you want to try out this team. Two weeks to grab it, so make sure you grab what you can, as well as the pace been listed down below in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. But otherwise, let's get started with today's video. So today's common question is going to be, how do you feel about Series 6? We've had it for about a little bit over a month. And for me, it's really boring. I'm going to be honest. It's really boring. Um, I feel like I just see, like, I think we complained about variety in Series 5. You could say, oh, you just see Sun, or you just see Sand, or you just see, like, Dragable Tokus, Excadrill. For me, it's like you see Porygon Z, you see Lapras, you see Urshifu everywhere, you see the Primarina, Arcanine, Amoongus, or Fairphorn core. It's kind of, like, repetitive, and I feel like this one's especially, I don't know. It's been very, I don't know, I haven't been playing much because midterms have been a thing for me, but like, I played a few games off camera and it's just like, I don't know. Just not really feeling it, but hopefully Crown Tundra can fix that. Right now though, we gotta focus. I want to showcase the best battles I can. We have Draco's ult, Primarina, the Dust Clops, Rhyperior, Talonflame, and Serena, which is interesting because you got kind of like a mixed mode team, but I don't know, it could be like... It could be like I've seen these teams where they have dust clops and you know like Rhyperior, but the Rhyperior is actually fast. I'm not sure. What do I go here? I'm guessing I just go Polytone Mantine. It's like very effective against the team in general, I feel like. And back I like um Marowak and probably Serena to deal with the um uh... Serena's good to deal with Primarina. Primarina is just a threat. It's a very big threat. I'm curious on what the items are because Draco's Old and Primarina are both Pokemon that like Life Orb a lot. I could definitely see it being a weakness policy on the right pier, but maybe it's not. There's a lot of interesting options and there could be a lot of tricky, sneaky options there. We see Draco's Old Talonflame, not too surprising. As I leave Polytone Mantine. The question is, I've had this situation before. Did they quake the Politoed turn one? Which is a very possible option here. I mean, I think I go Marowak anyway, but the question is, do I go for the Dragozolt or do I with Hailstorm? And I think it is a good point to Hailstorm. <sighs> I think getting the damage on Draco's ult is really good regardless. I don't know. It's a really tough position because it's always like the 50-50 of like, do they predict the Marowak and they Quake? I mean, I could also do like a bunch of other things. Like turn one, for instance, I could have just went Muddy Water here and switch in a Marowak for the other slot. But I've had players also like, I think, go for the Max Quake and the Mantine turn one. So it's a really weird mind game. And unfortunately, it's Draco's ult Primarina has been very tough for this team with Urshifu. But let's see. Well, Max Mantine should be a Max from Draco's Old, I'm assuming, too. Yep. Unless it's Max Talonflame, but... I don't know. If you Max Talonflame, that's fine, though. Yeah, it's gonna be maxing the Draco's Old, so... Uh, it depends on what they go for here. A Quake is not the end of the world, but it is pretty bad for me. But let's see. They do Tailwind right away. Okay, so did they get the call right? Did they go for the... Did they go for the lightning or did they go for the quake? Did they go for the lightning? Okay, best case scenario. All right, that is best case scenario as we will get a hailstorm off into the uh, Draco's ult. Very nice damage. The problem is I got rid of the Gale Wings, which I don't like because I would have preferred um, having the Gale Wings on deck for them. Mm. 
All right, I gotta think about the upcoming turns. They don't have anything faster. Okay. Oh, it's Goggles Talonflame. Oh, that actually makes it easier. Cause I'll go Serena here. Okay, Goggles Talonflame makes it so much easier now. I'm gonna go for the um. I think I'm gonna go for. Do I airstream here or do I go for the? Uh... I feel like I always airstream here. The question's in the who. Cause I kind of want to target down the Drake result. Yeah, I'm gonna target down the Drake result. Like, you should not go for Lightning here. I feel like a uh, more likely play is that they go for Dragon plus the uh, Brave Bird in the Ma Mantine double up here. And I use Brave Bird. Dragon does come out into the Mantine mix set. Wow, that just is so much damage. Okay. It works out, though. So I will be able to knock out Draco's ult to get an airstream boost, which is kind of nice for both my Pokemon here. And the Talonflame still can't use Brave Bird, and I can switch into Polytilt afterwards, so you can't Flare Blitz my Serena. Because Serena's really good in the matchup. Uh, because Talonflame's the Pokemon that's trying to stop the Serena, but it can't actually touch it. And then, like, getting rid of that Draco's ult is just so huge for, like, Polytoad as well as, like, any other Pokemon I have in the back. So, yeah, that's a very nice turn for us, and I can keep Mantine around for the late game. So let's see who they bring out next. It's probably going to be... It would be brought out here, actually. Uh, their own Serena, I guess? I have Triple Axel, which is kind of nice, but... Hmm, could be tough. Their own Primarina, okay. It's very likely I think they Flare Blitz and Hyper Voice if they have it. So maybe Polytoads to play here in just protecting the Mantine. Or maybe... Actually, no, do I just Geyser? I think I just Geyser. Because if I knock out the Talonflame, I'm in a good spot. And I should be faster than Primarina with the Rain up. Yeah, and they can't Braper with Serena on the field. Unless they do call this. I mean, they could make that read. But I feel like Serena is such a problematic Pokemon for them in general right now. So I think they have to try to prioritize getting rid of it. Which is why I'm going to go Politoed here and hope that I can get the Geyser off in the Talonflame on a Flare Blitz. Yes. Also, like, the getting the recall on the Talonflame means that I can have Gale Wings option. Uh, for which could have mattered. It depended on the situation. That's why I was thinking about protecting Mantine so I could uh, hurricane afterward. But this ends up working out perfectly because I'm able to get rid of the Talonflame, which is awesome. So Talonflame does go down. Don't have to worry about that for my Serena. That was a big obstacle for my Serena. And Energy Ball actually going to be in the Mantine. Interesting choice there. So Mantine goes down. Completely fine. And then we're going to find out our last Pokemon. This could still be a very tough game, but yeah um really depends on their last pokemon i think i go serena i just don't know what the last pokemon is rhyperior okay problem is i don't know how fast this, these pokemon are that's the biggest concern rock slide is also going to be very annoying because of flinches um, I feel like Parish Song makes sense in this end game, as well as going hard into Marowak. Because, like, if you protect the Pokemon, it's going to be now. I'm thinking it's Assault Vest on the Primarina. I really don't want Rock Slide flinching my Serena, and then, like, a Moonblast in the Serena. And then I'm in a really bad position, I think. So I think keeping Serena as healthy as possible is good, and I get to see, like, how fast these, uh, this Primarina or this Rhyperior can be, potentially. Energy Ball gonna come out, which is fine. Like, if they try to Thunder Punch, then I live anyway. I wonder if they're Bandit Rhyperior. That's also another case that would be interesting, if it's Bandit Rhyperior. Okay, so their Rhyperior is slow, and I get the Parish Song off. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Are they Bandit Rhyperior? They need to knock out a Pokemon here, I think, to have a chance. Or are they Fire Punch in the Rain? Over Rock Slide? I'm not sure about that one. Now they 100% lose. Yeah, I really wanted that Parish endgame potentially because it just made it, um... It just basically secured it if I got the Parish song off. Because I think Serena was just too big of a threat that you couldn't really, like, pronounce. 
so yeah i think like going for the parish end game was just fine because like saving pre-marina healthy so it doesn't flinch like wasted turn flinching would have been the worst case scenario if like right period was fast so that's why i didn't want to risk serena there and like if i got the parish song off i just won straight up say muddy water and they go for high horsepower okay so it's not choice bandit at all I mean, they can make a read. I, I have the game secured now. I'm going to Shadow Bone the Primarina and just switch out into my Serena. As they are going to forfeit because they realize I could just switch out and then protect the last turn. So nice. We are able to pick up a win, which is really nice. I felt like playing around the Talonflame was a little bit difficult, but we were able to. And yeah, just ha making the right call on the Drake Assault. Because it's always that mind game of do they have Quake. Because yeah, they did have Quake. So they could have made a read into the Mint uh, calling the... Um, Marowak, which is always scary, I feel like, when it comes to this team. Maybe I should just lead Mantine, Marowak, and just switch into Politoed turn one. Because that avoids situations. It's min speed, okay. I wasn't sure if this Dust Class was just like one of those sets where they Icy Wind, potentially. They do have Icy Wind and Dust Clops. And Imprison on Trick Room, potentially. And the rest is just like relying on the fast. I don't like no water move on the Primarina. So we are able to pick up a win, which is really nice there as we'll continue on and find one more game to deal it off. But yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was just like, well, playing with, it was just calling whether the, uh, attack, whether what the Draco's was going to do. Cause that's a big part. I think maybe if like I do face another Draco's, we've been playing a lot of Draco's, I feel like crustal. <laughs> What's a crustal? Um, okay. It's actually kind of tough. Because Primarina is already a big problem for this team. But what concerns me more is like the combination of like. The Raladon. Crustal is actually kind of a threat. Because Sturdy and then a physical rock move that could just obliterate the Mantine. Uh, yeah, this could actually be a very tough match. Especially since um, I can't redirect the Max Lightning from the Raladon because of Stalwart. So... Politoed, Mantine. I guess Toxtricity and Como. Uh, I like Serena though in this. Like I like Serena to deal with the Primarina, but that's all it handles. Like it does really poorly against everything else. Toxtricity is good against Bravier and Primarina effectively, as long as it's not Salt Vest on the Primarina specifically. It's going to be a tough game. This matchup does not look fun at all for me, but we'll power through. It just depends on what they lead. I don't know if they're going to lead Bravier, go for Tailwind, or are they going to max uh, Bravier in Airstream? I don't know. Uh, on the bright side, I think maybe Mantine lives in one max Lightning. I don't know. Because it's high speed death, but we'll see. Crustle and Primarina lead. Okay. Not what I really expected, but that's okay. I want to save the Dynamax for later. Do I? Yeah, because Dynamax could be good. Yeah, I just don't want to make the early Dynamax commitment if I don't have to. I'm just going to Hurricane and Muddy Water to Crustle, I think. They do Dynamax right away. Let's see who it's into. Could be the Crustal. It wouldn't be that bad of a deal. Um, if it's Primarina, that's fine. They do Dynamax Crustal immediately. Hmm. So I could, I maybe should have just fired off a Hydro Pump, but I didn't want to miss. I want to break it sturdy guaranteed. Oh, why did I forget about weak armor? Holy cow, I forgot about weak armor <laughs> policy stuff. <gasps> Oh boy. I completely forgot that it gets weak armor. At least I didn't Dynamax and lose my Mantine. I guess I should Dynamax Politoed? Completely forgot about that option. Alright. 
Ah, oh, this is going to be so bad. Yeah, Muddy Water did nothing. I don't even think... Ma yeah, I would have had to max Politoed. Uh, regardless, there's no good switching because if this thing has max ground, I'm screwed anyway. I'm screwed regardless, I think. Because <gasps> if I go talk shit, do I hope it doesn't have a ground move? <sighs> Maybe I go talk shit, say double in a Como and then pray. But the thing is, they're going to get the Spadef boost regardless. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> I forgot about weak armor. <laughs> That's actually... I'm surprised I haven't seen that already. Wow. Bring out the Como. And Dynamax Poly. So, let's see. They could max bug the Poly to too, which would be... Very unfortunate for me, but it'd be not the worst case, I guess. I don't know. It's already looking pretty bad. We're bringing out a giant polytoad and we're dealing with this giant crustacean, which is going to like pinch it through my team unless like I can figure out a situation, but I don't think I can. They do have Quake, yeah. Okay, so at least I got that right. I need this not to KO Como. Oh, I really hope they didn't double up. Oh, I feel like Hyper Voice would KO anyway. Like, I need a position where I can knock out this, um, crustal. <laughs> it's not looking hot for me, though. It's like a rock in a hard place, or in this case... Oh, they Moonblast Polytoad. Okay, no special talk about. Thank you. Uh... I think you Rockfall the Como slot if you're my opponent. It's a weird position, regardless. Rockfall. I feel like it's the Como. Could be the Politoed, too, I guess. Uh, it was Politoed. Uh, so I could have went for the uh, Clang's double up here, and it would have been fine. Might have actually been better. Like, Politoed will survive. Oh, uh, and then maybe they have Rock Slide, and they seal it up. Unless I KO here. Unless I KO here. Come on, Politoed, please. Please get a high roll. Oh, yes. Okay, we're able to get rid of Crustal. That thing actually just swept me. <laughs> the thing would have just actually swept me if it lived one more turn. All right, so Crustal goes down. All that work to deal uh, with a Crustal. And they Moonblast to Coma. Okay, so I'm still in this game. Toxicity can actually still win this game. It really depends on their last two Pokemon though and what item this Primarina is. It was a Salt Vest. It's still not looking good for me. Braviary comes out. Uh, I think I say Polytilt so I can help me hand Overdrive the following turn. Let Como go down. I just gotta hope they don't have Tailwind. They do go for the um... Okay, they do go for the Polytilt. I get the Clang Scales off. For damage in a Bravia in case it's a Salt Vest. I really need help hand overdrive to KO. Maybe I should have went for Aura Spear and a Primarina just to be safe. Because I'm more worried about de tar the KO onto Prim more than the KO onto the uh, Bravia, I think. So yeah, maybe I should have just Aura Spear. Because if I'm like a sliver off, <laughs> I'm going to feel bad. All right. Doxtricity, helping hand overdrive. It also depends on their day of Tailwind. They could have Rock Slide though too. There's a lot of things that are considering. Best case scenario here is I am able to KO both Pokemon and outspeed the Bravery with Helping Hand Overdrive. And I don't think Helping Hand Thunder is the play. I think I need to Overdrive here. I need to get a situation. I feel like it will be a Solvest Primarina though, but we'll see. Oh, they Aqua Jet. Interesting play. I am fast in the Braviary though. That's huge. Okay. 
And they were soft as Primer. Wait, they were soft as Primer and they went for Aqua. Okay then. I think that's a throwing point. Oh, they have the Raladon. Okay, yeah. Uh, not looking good. Unless I dodge Draco. I don't know what the Raladon set this is either. <laughs> Regardless, it looks pretty bad for me, no matter what set it is. Dragon Pulse. Okay. Wait, that's doable. Holy cow! <laughs> Toxtricity! Alright, please KO free Marina. Alright, it's doable, it's doable, very doable. I have to hit a muddy water. That's all I need. So we muddy water here and we overdrive. I'm pretty sure overdrive is stronger because of the punk rock ability. With the single target, they dragon pulse the toxicity again. Okay. With the life orb hit and the muddy water and rain, can I KO the Duraladon? Please. Oh, thank you. Okay. We do not got Duraladon if it's really weak spe special defense. Okay. One, we were lucky that they didn't have Draco Meteor. And number two, we got really lucky that they Aqua Jet. They. If they want to win, they don't awkward it there. They just go for an attack with Primarina. Since that had to be a Selvest 100%. That had to be a Selvest 100%. Okay, yeah. Let's check their team to make sure I'm not crazy. The, the, weak, <laughs> the weak armor, weakness policy, Crustal. Um, Lumberry on the Bravery. Oh, they had Giga Impact too. Well, they were slower anyway than... Uh, yeah, they were slower than my uh, Toxtricity style. I guess this one didn't matter. Wide Lens on Serena. They're not running Power Whip? Focus Sash. Knock Off. Yeah, it was a solid best Primarina. I mean, I think they just had just clicked Hyper Voice there, and I think they won. I got really lucky by them not clicking Aqua Jet, and then, yeah, Life of Duraludon. It's not max speed, but it's not max special attack. I don't even know how close that is to max special attack, but we survived the crustal. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2020. Uh, that probably kept you on the edge of your seat, at least. If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, and share this video with your friends. It's a great way to support me, and there, it's a free way to support me. You can also check out my second YouTube channel, Twitch channel, for more awesome content. And yeah, if you want to try the team, there's a rental code of the team available in the description. You could also join our community Discord as well if you want to interact with me in an awesome community. But yeah, uh, next time it will be the finale of this team, at least. <laughs> I now know what Crustle does. I, I can't believe I forgot about weak armor. But yeah, that's going to be it. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch you all later.